So this is what we have done last one image how to animate. So I want to do multiple images. Maybe you have tried already, but we want to do some more detail in that. So one, you understand how we do from here to here, we animate it. Then end, you need to stop it. So in the end of the keyframe, right click actions, we will write stop. So what happened when you press control enter, it, it comes like this. Then if you click on this, if you click on this, you see, it come and stop the, it come and stop here, right? This is what we have done. It is stopping here. So if you want to do the second one, okay, the button you are going to keep on the same layer, but for the button, you don't need separate, separate uh, layers. Keep on, keep on the same layer. Uh, maybe I have a few other pictures. Let me take other all pictures and drag and drop to my library. Okay, it's in the library. It's importing. There is a problem. Which one have a problem? Check. Yeah, anyone. This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. I think everything key. Correct. So we need second one, maybe this. So we took this one here. And I want to make smaller, smaller. We are keeping this pivot point on this corner, then up. The button have small difference. You should not do this always. You need to do it in Photoshop, okay? For time being, I'm doing so. I, I never tell you, I always say that should not stretch an image like this, okay? I'm just managing only for time. Then keep here. But it's, it's not looking bad, it's fine now. This one, we need to convert to a button. So what we have done for this one, control enter, click, click, it's getting smaller, right? That's only what we have done. So for this one also, F8, convert this one to a button, go inside the button, F6, F6, down, we need to make smaller. So Alt and Shift, you press, sorry, uh, control, sorry, Shift button, you press, why not happen once again? Our pivot point is here, that's why, okay. All tent, no, shift is okay, only shift button you need to press, shift button you need to press, okay? My pivot point was wrong, that's the reason, it didn't happen. Now, this is working fine, okay? Okay, second is fine. I want third one, also I'm converting to a button. We make smaller. Pivot point here. And shift and make smaller. This one, you know, I, I don't think it's a good option to scratch it. So you know what I'm gonna do it. Make till here. Width is okay now. Right? Instead of going to Photoshop. You see the height is okay. No, width is okay. Now, press, keep this one to the center again. Press control B, break apart. Then you can select this area. Or if you want to manage, manage up and down. Down portion of the cut. Delete. Mine is okay now. The Vita okay. Now we set here. So control V for break apart. F8, this one also convert to a button. Inside the button. F6, F6. In down, we need to do transform, shift and smaller. Scene again, we're gonna check this. This button okay. This is okay. This is okay. Three now. Now Fourth one, I have one more fourth one. Smaller. 
pivot point here. We going to match. This is almost okay. Little bit stretching is fine now. Both. Now this is also a button, a fade button. Inside the button, I press F6, F6. In down, took transform tone. The pivot point center here. Shift and make smaller. Control enter. All the buttons are ready. One more is there, what I'm doing in four is fine. The fifth one we don't want. I'm going to delete that. So come back to here. Which one I lost that? One, two, three, four. Okay. So we don't need this. We need. We don't need the. Uh, yeah, I think we have everything we use, right? One, two, three, four. If the one is not here, then fine. So all are perfectly fine now. <clears throat> Window align if you take alignment. You can do alignment on the top. You can distribute it equally. As like Illustrator, Photoshop, and all. Use a control K is a shortcut for align. Now these things are okay. I'm gonna keep here. The animations we have done only one. Okay. And we have done script also for that, correct? And the script, the starting, we have given a script called stop. And frame number two, there is an animation. And frame number, which one? 11, we give a stop because this animation stop over here. That's why we give a stop. Now, what we're going to do, either I can create a new layer or from the same layer, I can continue. There is no problem. Because one after only is coming, right? Both nugget together is not coming. If both are coming together, you need to go for different layer. So here I have an option. I can go for the same layer only. So F6. F6, we don't need this layer. Which one is the second button? Second button is this, right? So go to this. We're going to take C. This one, you can continue. F5, you continue for some frames, okay? And F5 here, we take second image. I want to see where I place the first one. So I will switch on onion skin. So I can see this other image. We don't need exactly same, but almost inside because the size image size are different. Right. For this one, I want to do an animation. See, almost it took 11 frame, right? So I'm going to take also start from 12, 12 to 21, 22 like that, F6. Before F6, I prefer what type of animations I'm doing. I've done from the top. So this one I want to do from down here. Keep the pivot point there. Right click and do classic tween. Remove tween one more time. Classic tween. Then till 2022 20, like that here. F6. I see this is gone, I think, because I removed the tween. That's why. Now done. Now what we need this here. So the pivot point have a problem. We remove again, remove frames, go here, remove tween also, and keep the pivot point here. I think we do from the side is better because we want to do the stretch it up and down. Side is okay. Right click and classic tween, 22, F6. Pivot point is fine here. Now here, F6 little bit bigger and beginning we want to make it smaller like this so let me switch off it right this one if you want to stretch more you can do a little bit so control enter you understand how it works right yeah. we need to stop here right we know we need to stop so here also actions stop the other command I'm not doing now, we can do together. Stop, everybody knows this. So each and everything, when we start, it have to stop here. We did that. Next frame, F6. The third picture is this. We delete this one. Third picture I'm gonna take. <coughs> and we switch on the onion skin.
uh, the size are different, but that's okay. Fine. This one, I'm gonna keep here, right click. Uh, already training is, uh, you know, keep here. Classic twin, F6. The pivot point is changing because if I do one time, just check. Yeah, there's some problem. We do remove again. Delete frames. Remove twin. Yeah, everything gone, right? Yeah. Now on the first frame, transform tool I'm going to keep here. Then right click. Classic twin. F6. Check the pivot point the same place. And here, a little bit bigger I have done. Bigger. And starting. It should be smaller here. Any type of transitions you can do, okay? Done. Here we know we need to stop. Right click, action, stop. Correct. And the last one, F6, delete. Onion skin to know the previous frame. Transform tool, we're gonna to start from here now. Right click and classic tween. Oh, see, it's the same mistake I'm doing again. So starting, we remove all the tween. Keep the pivot point here. You understand why we are doing, because the pivot point will change otherwise, okay? Then here F6, classic tween. Now the pivot point is on the same place, you can ensure. No, it's not there, so we need to redo again. One more time. I think the third time cited the mistakes. <clears throat> Remove tween and all, yeah. Transform here. From here, classic tween, F6. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. Let me check it's working or not. I have a problem. So let me remove and one more time. So this is one of the problem it may happen, okay? F6, delete, import, keep here, transform here, classic tween. First, just if I remove that, then I'm importing. So the tweening is the default. That's the reason it's getting mistake. One more time. No, no, there is no tweening, right? It's removed already. Now, pivot point move, then classic tween, F6. Okay, have it. Remove tween. Classic twin, F6, now it's okay. Here F6, stretch it. Now we don't need uh, this, right? It's beginning, it should be smaller. Smaller means don't go to other side, okay? It'll flip your image, keep till here only. Right. So two, three frames is, is more. So I'm going to remove the frames, remove the frames. Done. Here also right click action, action sense, stop. <coughs> stop. So this one, I'm going to remove it. So this is what we have done. One, two, three, four, correct. Perfect. Now we are doing scripting, right? So go to this. You have to see the first one, what we have done. This is the first one. In F9, we have given the script over here. See here, go to and play frame number two. 
correct? Go to and play frame number two. So here, second one, what mean? If I press this one, what will happen? Go to and play frame number 12. 12. So this one, F9, below you can write snippet, action script, timeline navigation, go to and play, button name already have taken, frame number 12. Control, enter and check it's working or not. This is fine, it's not working. So we'll see what's the problem. So on the top, there is some script comes now. I think by mistake, we give one over here. Cut it. The, it should be on here. Okay, it should be on here. Select the second one, F9. One more time, go to and play. Frame number 12. See what I have done. Now it's okay. It's working, it's working. See the problem, what happened? See, I was staying here, then I tried to do a script over here. That's why, see, there is some script over there. I remove it. That's by mistake I have done. Hope you understand. Remove it. This is okay, this is okay. So where I will give script one more time. Stay on your button, your button layer. The first frame, select the next, next one, F9. F9, are we on right place now? Yeah, F9, snippets, and we don't know which uh, frame. Second goes here, and third one goes to frame number 23, 23, F9, snippets, frame number 23. Okay, then we check uh, the next one. Stay here, the frame number 36. So remember when I'm checking here to understand the frame 36, then you have to go back here, okay? That make mistake. Select this one, F9, F9, 36. See, all are here now. Actually, you can do one more thing. Copy and paste, copy and paste. Just only you change the number. It's also possible, but the button name also you need to change it. I will tell you there is something, the instance button you can do. Now you see when I press play here, you can make your portfolio like this. Now, when you select a button, if you go to properties, on the top, you can see one place. This is called instance name. So this is an idea. So example, when somebody is calling you on your name, right? They can, everybody can identify on your name. Same like that. If you want to call in, if you want to call in, in scripting, we need to identify that button. So we will give a name. Like we are giving a name for you, same like we are giving a name for button also. Anytime we can call with this, this name. So even if you give a name over here directly, even if you are in only one place, if you press F9 and go, here you can do copy paste, copy paste the same, same script. Okay, but only the change the name and change the number where it goes. I think everybody understood this. Doing something because this one, Last session itself might be some of you already tried. So doing something more over here. One thing, <clears throat> the button I want to make a little bit attractive. When I keep my mouse on top of this, I need, I need to get a glow around it. I need to get a glow around it. So go to first frame, select the button. Inside, go to over. In the over, if I want to do a glow effects, glow effects will work only for movie clip. Glow effects, hope you remember. Blur effects, uh, 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 glow effects, this all will work only for movie clip. So go to on over, convert this one to a movie clip. If you convert this one to a movie clip, then if you selected this one, you will get these properties. Here you have an option called here we have alpha brightness and all. We'll do it in uh, here. Can you see in the filter? Click on the filter. There is glow. I want to get glow, white color around it. How much blur? This is linked. So X and Y, it will be same thing. We need to get a glow like this. Control enter. Click, it's happened. Okay. So 
this is the property what we have done. Look, so you want to do something quality to high end all you can press, okay? High quality. Make the blur a little bit less. I do 10, remember that. Come back, follow the same thing everywhere. Select this one, double click inside, go to over, F8, convert this one to a movie clip. And uh, here we have filters below. The filters, I click it. Then click on glow FX. Then high. And this one we did 10 now. So say 10. Come back. Next one. Double click. Double click on over F8. Convert this one to movie clip. And select on that. And below filter. Click here. Glow. Choose the color high quality and this is 10. Come back here, insight, over, F8, movie clip and here we have glow, white color and 10. This is the same property. Now all buttons look, see my page size by mistake I have taken smaller. Starting itself, you could have do 1280 in 720, so you'll get a full screen, okay? I forgot to do. Now, if I do it, I can do it now also. There's no problem. I need to adjust that, the size, you know? If you want to do now, you can do that. It's no problem because we don't have much content like that, right? Just here, 1280 into 720, okay? So, uh, but there is a problem, you know? This all position will change. This all position, we need to reanimate it. So sorry, we keep the same thing. You know, this animations, what we have done, these all positions will be wrong, right? Otherwise we can make it small, bigger that. Fine, now see all the buttons. This look beautiful now. All actions are working. Not done. Now we need to make a border, okay? Why I am continuously telling you this one? Because last sessions you have already knows that how to animate this. More than one frame we have animated. I have nothing done more than that. More than that, only one new option I teach you, which is glow. It's not a new option, even you studied, but I have given here new options here, which is glow, which is in the filters, right? Now, apart from this, in a new layer, I want to do a border. Border. This border I'm gonna keep on the top layer. <clears throat> All images should come inside. For example, here I'm going to make a simple border like this. This border, no fill color, only a straw color, which is gradient color. Which is a gradient color, something like this. Control enter, we have a border. I need a small animation in the border. You see this color, right? The color need to, it should look like it's moving. Okay, we studied already. We can animate the color. How we can animate the color using? Using shape twin. Using shape twin, we animated the color. So how can we do that? This one, I'm converting because see, I want to do continuously, this should happen, okay? So this one I'm converting to F8, a movie clip. This one I'm converting to a movie clip. Border, frame, control frame. Done. Inside this movie clip, I went inside the movie clip. Starting and ending do the same thing. Otherwise, jump will come. You know, it's looping, right? It's looping. So starting and ending, you don't want to do any changes here. So first of all, go here, F6, right click. Shape twin, shape twin. Maybe till 40, 50, it's okay. <clears throat> now, if you go here, there is a but gradient tool, gradient transform tool. Okay, go to first frame, take that tool. Then go here, F6, select it to a small movement on this, to this side. Go here, F6, select it. Take other movement to other side. F6. Sorry. 
so some movements are there. Control enter, you can see it's a loop. So always it feels like it's just moving and it is in the loop and it's beginning and end is same frame. So you never understand when it is switching. So you keep for one hour this one, see the same thing gonna loop it. You wanna do more details, you can no need to keep it on 50, keep on 200 frames. So some random movements gonna happen. So you don't feel like loop. Now reminding all are working under same way. Correct. Now one thing, you already studied. See, this, this exercise, this is fine. Just I wanna add something just to remind you. The beginning page, I don't wanna get this one. The beginning page, I don't want to get this one. The beginning page, maybe I need to get another page which show maybe a simple title, then only will come together. So we use a concept called scene, scene. In window, there was scene. In scene, we can create more than one page, right? So I'm gonna create a new scene here, scene two, okay? And scene one, I'm gonna keep it down. So scene two is first now, or you can rename also. Here, maybe we want to do text. A portfolio demo. This one, I want to come like typewriter, you know, type, 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 one by one, one by one, okay? So, on 10, I'm going to start, F6, the first frame, we have nothing, on 10, I'm going to start, okay? P, F6, F6. F6, F6, F6. F6, F6. Uh, you know, randomly I'm doing, that's why doing some F6, F6, F6. F6. F6, F6. <coughs> F6. Space. E. F6, F6. I put A. Okay. Then I understand this mistake. Then I'm gonna remove it. Six F six, then O. You understood idea? Like we typing. Then till here F six. So control enter. It's very faster. So see. Here you can do F five F five. Slowly. F5, 
code ID a little bit more. Slowly. Good. Want a new layer on top of it. Go here. There's a line like this. <clears throat> this is a normal line. which is here. This is a movie clip. You know, typewriting time, there is one line is that will blink. You type in Microsoft, uh, I mean, DOS and or I think in Word, I think it's DOS, I don't, I don't remember. One line will be going, right? Small line. Okay, this, one. this is a movie clip. Inside this movie clip, F6. F6, delete, F6, so here also I'm deleting, here also I'm deleting, F5, to blink it, right, it's blinking from there, so this one, when this letter comes, go to next letter here. When the next letter comes, next letter coming here, right? So I need to go. I think it should be. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two. This one comes instantly. Should go to next letter. We'll check. Next letter comes here. So till here F6. Next one F6 here. Here, so till here F6 and the next F6, should go to the next one. <coughs> next letter here, this left side. F6, next F6, it will go to the next one. Till here F6, next F6 is close to the F6 and F6 is close to next letter. F6. F6, six, go here. It's getting, oh, yes, a more right? F6.
Okay. F6. F6. 